Hello one and all, this is Luckless Lovelocks and welcome back to the council. I decided to turn all of my lights off for this one just to create a better atmosphere for myself because I feel like there's this darkness in this game that's kind of under the surface and uh, I think that'll just, I encourage you all to turn your lights off also just to experience that with me. It's, it doesn't really feel like a horror game but it just has that that dark feeling to it. Just to recap what happened in episode one, um, we are Louis de Richet, son of Sarah, who's the head of a secret society called the Golden Order. We didn't find out a ton about the Golden Order, but the one thing we did find out is that they're trying to infiltrate the highest circles of society, including political, economic, and even paranormal spheres. And it seems like they're a benevolent organization, although I feel like there's still a lot of mystery surrounding them, so I'm not so sure that we could be 100% sure on what the Golden Order's motives are. Since we're the son of Sarah, we're actually being groomed to be the leader after she retires, whatever. And um, we found out that everyone here, I guess, has been invited to Lord Mortimer's Island. I'm not quite sure why everyone's been invited here, and I'm, I'm sure we're just going to discover that as we talk to more people. And when we arrived, we learned that Sarah has gone missing. We also met Emily, who's an English duchess, and she mentioned that we had met before, but I don't think we could figure out how. Uh, we did experience a serious migraine where we also had a vision, so I'm assuming that's going to continue. Maybe we have some kind of power there. Uh, we had a vision of Sarah, and it looked like she was beat up, like bruised, and also her left hand was cut off, and she ends up she ended up shooting Emily in the vision. And Emily seemed to be kind of like, it's like she was getting replaced with us, too. We kept getting, like, replacing each other back and forth. And then at the end of the last episode, we had an important conversation with Giuseppe Piaggi, uh, a legate of Pope Pius VI. And we convinced him to give us a letter that was meant for Sarah, which uh, has the names of French, had the names of French priests that face execution at the hands of Republican tribunals. I don't know... I'm sure we're going to find out more about that as the game progresses. And that's what he says that the letter is. Um, we still haven't opened it. We're waiting for a time uh, where we're alone to open it. Oh, cool. Here's a map of the, of the first floor of the mansion. Can we see the, I guess we can't see the other floors yet. And I wanted to take a look at that letter sealed. And I still don't know how to use these. So... Maybe it'll explain it uh, when we run out. Take a look around. Look at that painting in the background. Awful, awful. Okay, but also amazing. Oh, and it also said that this was, uh, when I loaded up the game, it said this is the Hall of Zeus, so I'm assuming that's Zeus there. And we need to go back to the group near the chimney. Let's see what they're talking about. Something on the table. Lives of the Noble Greeks and Romans by Plutarch, a biography of the great men. You can flip through it. Well, we don't have the skill, so let's just take it. Let's pop that in my coat. Manuscripts allow you to educate yourself during the adventure. At the start of each quest, you can choose what to read and gain permanent skill points. Find your manuscripts by using the inventory tab in the menu. Push the space button to access your menu pages. Ah, uh, we started with Parallel Lives. Wait. No, no, we started with this. The art of knowing people by their uh, physiognomy. Physiognomy? Sorry, I, I'm not familiar with that word. Plus one skill point in psychology or plus one skill point in conviction. We have a point in psychology already. Read people's behavior like an open book. Conviction. Convince people with the sheer force of your will and your attitude. I'm really not sure if I should go like wide or deep, like get a bunch of points in skills or if I should get in like one skill or get or spread it out. 
amongst a bunch of skills. I just don't know enough about the game to be sure what the best course of action is. So I'm just going to say space seize one of these. So we can get an extra point in psychology. I think that's probably, that might be a good idea. Let's, let's try that. Okay. I hit space, but it didn't do anything. And hitting space on this doesn't do anything. Okay. Uh, I'm going to be confused by how that works. Oh, it looks like all three of them are here. I thought my chimney was big, but this one is beyond belief. It's the least one can say. I've been longing for a warm fire for ages. Since I set foot on the island, I haven't ventured more than two yards away from it. Have you also just arrived? Oh, late morning, I'd say. Louis, come join us. Monsieur, may I introduce you to Monsignor, His Eminence, Cardinal Piaggi? Piaggi. He joins us straight from Rome. Oh, just call me Your Eminence. It's simpler. George Washington, President of the United States of okay. America. Okay. Delighted at last to make your acquaintance, Mr. Pre. Okay, it's actually George Washington. Pleased to meet you, Mr. President. Louis Maurras de Richet. It is an honor to meet you. Young man, let's keep it simple, please. Let us forget our fancy titles. Nice to meet you, Louis. I should imagine you never thought you'd be in such company. I must admit that I didn't. It's the first time that I've ever met so many illustrious personalities. And you haven't seen anything yet. Generally, when Lord Mortimer organizes one of his receptions, there are over a dozen people here. They can't all be here yet. And you'll see, most of the time there's only the upper crust. And I noticed you were already getting to know his eminence at the entrance. It's the perfect place to build up a network. What were you talking about, if you'll forgive my indiscretion? My mother about a letter. Uh, we don't want to mention the letter. At the risk of disappointing you, we weren't conspiring in our corner, sir. His eminence was simply telling me that he knew my mother and how much he held her in high esteem. It so happens that Monsieur de Riche's mother is to join us. Oh, pity. No scrumptious gossip or juicy tidbits, unmentionable secrets, or even money matters. But you'll see, it will come. Despite all the goodwill in the world, you can't stop people scheming left and right around oh, here. He's a bit speaks not very subtle, there. is he? <laughs> <laughs> well, my friends, do any of you know the reason why we're here this time? Not in the slightest. As for me, I've been invited by Sir Holm, a close friend of Lord Mortimer, but uh, I do not know the reason why. You see, Louis, every time Lord Mortimer organizes a reception, he always finds a moment to set up a chat with all the guests. During which time we remake the world. Accompanied by gallons of absinthe and cussing, I'll leave you to imagine the result. So, if I understand rightly, Monsieur de Richet, You've come out here to join your mother. For what reason, exactly? To invent something. I think I'm going to be honest here. Um, invent something. Let's be honest with him this time. Lord Mortimer asked me to come as quickly as possible to find my mother, who seems to have disappeared during her stay here. Oh. I took the first boat, and here I am. I'm so sorry. Don't be, sir. It's not your fault. I don't think we always want to be lying, right? Seriously, though. I know your mother well. Stay behind with me afterwards, and we'll take a moment to speak about her. Whoa. Oh, okay. Good oh. lord. Washington is wearing the emblem of the Grand Master of the Golden Order. It's the highest distinction of the Order in the United States. It puts him on par with my mother. I see. He must really know his stuff when it comes to the occult. So she's not the absolute leader. Good evening, my friends. Holy shit. That's the man for my vision. An urgent case Whoa. has delayed our host, Lord Mortimer. He can't be present this evening, and he sends his deepest apologies. That's a hell of a makeup job. He hasn't even turned up? Great start. Do you know that man? 
Sir Gregory Holm, an English aristocrat, very influential. He's also close to Lord Mortimer, so don't be surprised if he acts like he's at home. And now, my dear guests, a light meal is served in the small salon. That's the one For that invited Emily, right? For those who'd like to, you're invited to follow me into the next room. My dear fellow, you must have read my thoughts. I shall follow. We'll have to be careful not to make too much noise. One of Lord Mortimer's guests is relaxing. Oh, we shall be quiet. Don't take it the wrong way, Sir Holm, but I have already eaten. Thus, I shall be happy to remain by the fireside. If you don't mind, Gregory, I should like to keep Mr. Washington company. So Please, no one's gonna go. <laughs> and you, sir? If I stay with Washington, we'll be able to speak about my mother. But on the other hand, I'd like to learn more about this home. I saw him in my vision. Hmm. This is, uh... I think I'm gonna go with home, just because we haven't really had a chance to speak to him at all. And since he was in the vision, maybe that's a hint that we should... We should go with home. Washington did ask us to stay behind, though. I'm gonna go with home. My vision is more important. Let's follow home. I'll follow you, sir. Mr. Washington, I hope to speak with you at greater length on another occasion. Emily, please excuse me, but I would like to speak to Sir Holm. I shall see you later. I wonder if that was a mistake. My friend, I hope our dear Giovanni is well. Ah, the troubles in France have fatigued him, but he will recover slowly. Do not fear. He apologizes for remaining in Rome. The voyage was too much for him. And right he was too. The mildness of the Mediterranean, eh? Come, sit down and have something to eat, my friend. You look rather pale. Excuse me, sir. I have been neglecting my duty. Did I, I miss something there? introduced myself. Sir Gregory Holm, an old friend of Lord Mortimer's. A real pleasure, sir. You who must be well used to the court of France. How do you find this peaceful little haven? Charming, if I hadn't come here for disturbing reasons. Yes, I heard the news. What a story. Indeed. I wanted to ask you. Hmm. I think I might have missed something there. And I also want to check something. It said something about, uh, missed something political. Traits. Let's read about the character. No, that's our character. Sir Holm. Whoa, that look at that face. Wow. Sir Gregory Holm, Baron of Nottingham, is a very influential British aristocrat. Confirmed royalist, Sir Gregory Holm spent his career extending the influence of the United Kingdom throughout the world. From the flourishing East India Company to the Spanish trading posts in America, he stamped his hallmark on key decisions made by the world's preeminent economic power. In England, he contributed to the reduction of the national debt, and being very attached to family values, he invested time in the working class, creating charity, uh, charity schools in order to offer a decent education to the future links in the next industrial revolution. A network builder, Holm always finds pleasure in attending the social gatherings of his old friend, Lord Mortimer. To be discovered. Oh, I see. The, yeah, right. To be discovered are like the vulnerabilities and the immunities. Huh. Wow. That's a face for radio. Let's find out about her mother. You seem to know my mother well. Is that true? <laughs> Who does not know of her, sir? She has such a wide circle that everyone knows your mother from a distance or closer. Everyone knows Sarah, my son. But you only know her by her reputation. I remember she once worked for the Crown of England and that she always honors her engagements. However, we have never been personally introduced, sadly. Well, if I'm to believe my vision, you're not going to get along with her. 
Thank you for your answers, Sir Holm. But I beg your pardon. I get the impression I know you. Have we met? Except in my dreams, of course. Not that I remember, young man. Uh, perhaps you are mistaking me for another member of the Chamber of Lords. Uh, what with the wig and the powder, it wouldn't be the first time. No, you were definitely the one I saw threatening my mother. I thought... never mind. It'll come back to me. Wait, who's she? Would you allow me one last question, sir? I don't want to take up all your time. Uh, please, go ahead. Um, what do you want to know? We have a lot of choices here. What did my mother come here for? Who could have held a grudge against my mother? Is there anyone else missing other than my mother? What's the link between Hillsboro and my mother? Huh. I'm tempted. I feel like this is something we're gonna find out anyways. So maybe that's not the best thing to ask. Hillsboro. Who's Hillsboro again? Oh, that's Emily. Hmm. That's tempting. I'm gonna ask that. This seems like the most, like, the most, like, detailed question. You know what I mean? Sir, do you know Emily Hillsborough? Oh, Madame la Duchesse. Of course, it was I who invited her to the island. In addition to mutual business we wanted to talk about, I absolutely wanted to introduce her to Lord Mortimer. Do you know of any link between her and my mother? Not really, no. They Damn. may well have met at the court of King George, but I can't be sure about that. No dispute between them, then? Not to my knowledge, no. And even if Duchess Hillsborough is a complex woman to understand, I honestly can't imagine her in a conflict with the famous Sara de Ricci. <gasps> no! <gasps> Elizabeth! Elizabeth? I should have insisted that you rest in your room. Do you want me to call someone? Let me handle this. I'm used to this kind of thing. Obliging. Miss, can, can you hear me? Leave me. Okay. I, d I don't know what if I should be using these or not. I guess we should just use them whenever we want. Whenever we can. We've got three things to, to get more. Yeah, her breathing is becoming stable and... Like a panic Heart attack? Too. Pale complexion, thin, broken nails, an enormous scar on her temple, tattoos on her hands. I don't know what happened to you, Missy, but it looks like you've been through hell. Can you tell me something about her? Um... I'd like to know who she is first, I guess. Who is this young lady? Elizabeth Adams. She's come to the island for a course of treatment, to rest. For a course of treatment? That's right. The sea air can do wonders. Are you all right, Elizabeth? Do you feel any better? When did she arrive? Why here, though, Four particularly? Okay. My mother had already gone missing. <sighs> yeah, I was gonna say. She's just regained consciousness and she immediately reaches for her brooch. I don't know exactly what it means to her, but obviously it's got to be something important. Are you all right, Elizabeth? You gave us quite a fright. Take it easy, miss. Let me. I just need to get back to my room. Of course, my dear. Go ahead. You saw it, didn't you? Pardon me? Is Segni de la Bestia. Sorry, what it is. Your eminence. I don't speak Italian. Ah, forget it. it oh, I see. Matter. It's because I didn't have politics, that's Gentlemen, why. Gentlemen, it's getting late. It is time for everyone to go to bed. It has been a long day. Because I didn't have linguistics, I couldn't pick up on that. And before I didn't have politics, I couldn't pick up on another opportunity. All right, okay, I'm starting to get it. 
We missed out on this conversation, though. It's all the more delicate. I'll see what I can do, but the case I'm on at the moment might well leave me with very few opportunities. She's on a case, so is she in the order also? Well, I am impressed with all this splendor. But don't spend too much time with Mr. Washington, my dear, or you'll lose your pretty accent. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to be intrigued by that statue. Absolutely. It is remarkable. Oh, it's naughty to tell lies. Bet my life that you were talking about something totally different from the decoration of the manor. But to find out what, I should have stayed with them. Too bad. Lord right. Mortimer is fond of atypical works of art. I won't disguise the fact that I find it all a little megalomaniacal. But I must say, he does have some outstanding pieces. So, who was that young lady with you? Elizabeth Adams, Mr. President. She would have liked to have stayed with us, but the poor thing is exhausted. Sounds like he Elizabeth knows who she is. Adams? Just mentioning Elizabeth totally changed Washington's Yeah, attitude. he reacted big time. Looks like he just saw a ghost. Miss Adams is here to rest. You have perhaps already come across her in the corridors. She arrived a few days ago. I perceived her, but we weren't introduced. Rest assured. She is not here for the same reasons as yourselves. Consequently, I'm counting on your indulgence. Washington looks surprised, but Holm doesn't seem to see it. I wonder if he's being polite or if he really doesn't see his discomfort. On that note, it's very late. You must be exhausted. The servant will accompany you to your room. I think the first thing I think of is John Adams when I hear Adams and I think about American history. Because, um, would have been a contemporary with uh, Ladies, George Washington. Ladies, gentlemen, I bid you all good night. Mr. President, your eminence, Duchess, you have the same rooms as usual. You, Monsieur de Richet, will find your room at the end of the corridor. Well, my friends, I am bone tired. I am off to my bed. See you in the morning. Good night, sir. I shall do likewise. Louis, I shall see you in the morning. Sleep well. Good night. See you tomorrow. Maybe we'll have some time to snoop around now. Oh, man. It's been quite a day. Right. Where is my room? Very cool. You really have to pay attention to everything that's going on. <laughs> See if we can find out some more clues. Aha. Collector coins. Lost coins in Lord Mortimer's manor. Oh, maybe now I can open up the letter. We should probably wait till we get to our room though. I don't know though, I'm tempted to check it. I'm just thinking if we're in our room, there might be someone spying on us. Maybe if we find a different empty room. Napoleon Bonaparte. Napoleon? <laughs> okay. Okay, all right. So Jacques Perru. That name doesn't ring a bell to me, but I'm not a huge history buff. And I'm, I'm actually, I don't really want to look them up because I don't want to accidentally find some, like, spoiler or something like that. 
By the way, I should mention in the comment section, if those those of you that have played this game before, um, please don't spoil anything and um, don't give me like suggestions on what to do. Let me try to figure out stuff for myself. And if I make mistakes, it's fine, you know? Uh, I can always play through the game again. But I am interested in your speculation if you've never played the game before. So uh, comment on stuff in this episode and episodes, previous episodes, if you'd like. Because uh, I... Whoa, did I just go down? I'm always interested in people's speculation about mystery stories like this. A few leaves out of an old encyclopedia. The Encyclopedia, Denis Diderot and Jean Laurent d'Alembert. D'Alembert, 1751 to 1772. 150 academics and scholars contributed to the production of this first synthesis of human knowledge. Cannot be equipped. Assemble all pages of this manuscript in order to read it. I'm going to have to look up exactly how the inventory system works in this game because it said to hit space. Maybe it was just to see it. I don't understand how I'm supposed to equip these. Because it says here we can't equip this until we get all of the manuscripts. But I also don't see any way to use these. Golden Elixir cures all your negative alterations. Oh, press 2 to use it. Ah. So I'm going to guess. Ah, we hit 1. Okay. Perfect. All right. We're learning. I must have missed that in the, the tooltip when it first came up. Quorum guide. Plus one skill point in etiquette. Leonard Perrin, 1618. Rules of civility and decent behavior. A treatise on good manners intended for Jesuit College of La Flèche. Wow, this is a pretty big hallway. Devil's Thorn grants you the exalted state. You temporarily see the immunities and vulnerabilities affecting a dialogue choice in conversation. Three to use that. Devil's Thorn. I'll keep it. Okay, so it just matches where it is um, in order in the bottom left. Nope, not interested in that book. Can't go in there. Can't go up there. Okay. Just incapable of going upstairs right now. Monsieur Johann von Wollner. Van Wollner. Not a name I recognize. God, what a disaster. What a mess. <sighs> Not spending the night in this place. <laughs> Someone better clean that up fast. I'm assuming I can't go down the stairs. No, we actually just have to find our room. Okay.
watch all these creepy sounds everywhere. I love the sounds of creaking wood, though. Like I'm missing anything. And apparently we've taken the scenic route. President George Washington. Can't go through there. Aha. More royal jelly. Monseigneur, his eminence Cardinal Piaggi. It's gotta be us, right? Huh, that's me. Yeah, I think we've been Where did we start there? Let me take a little a little bit of a look down the hallway. In case I missed anything. I don't like to miss stuff. Duke Manuel Godoy. Not a name I recognize. I think, yeah, I think this is where we started. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. I actually went the longest possible way. <laughs> I'm fine with that. do with this letter it might be about my mother's disappearance we're gonna have to decide now aren't we but if i open it i'll be betraying piaggi's trust what should i do this is a tough one he seems to really value trust what does it say here open the letter without breaking the seal I'm just like, do we, are we going to have another option to be able to open the letter? I'm not sure. Let's, you know what? Let's err on the side of caution. Let's leave the letter closed and see if we get another opportunity to open it later. Or maybe if we get our subterfuge skill up, we can open it without breaking the seal. But uh, that's a lot of levels. Shoot. I'm so curious, though. Oh! I love games that make me... Uh, put me in these, like, difficult positions. I love, I love to hate them. And hate to love them. I'm too curious. I'm sure you all are curious also. Let's, let's open it. Okay, let's see what it contains. Too bad for Piaggi. So, it really is a list of French countrymen. Piaggi wasn't lying. But now it's opened. I better get it to mother soon. Wow. Nice room. Mortimer sure doesn't do things halfway. Jeez. Yeah, this is a really a really cozy room. <laughs> Look at this. Is that someone sticking his fingers into someone else's wound? Carmelite Water. Gives you the focus state. Your next skill use will cost no effort. You cannot carry more than five. Cool. I guess we want to hang on to that for when we're out of focus. Or if we know we're about to be in a really difficult situation. Huh. 
Saint Jerome and the Angel. Yet again, art with political undertones with an image of a saint hearing voices. Kind of sounds a bit like us. We're kind of hearing voices with those uh, visions. Judith beheading Holofernes. Ironic in a way, when you know that the artist represented himself as Judith beheading her mentor, who had raped her. Jeez. Eating a child? Saturn devouring his son. Again? I saw the same theme in the hall. I wouldn't like to be his son. Saint Francis of Assisi in ecstasy. Before superior voices. It always amuses me to see how art gets used for propaganda purposes. The conversion of Saint Paul by Caravaggio. It's incredible. It doesn't look like a copy, but I was sure the original was in Rome. Maybe not. Subject. Ah, oh, I hate locks. It's nothing more annoying. I need to get at least one level in subterfuge. I can. Inferno by Dante. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Lovely lectures Mortimer is giving to his guests. Very jolly. Jolly is not the way I describe this place at all. Oh, sweet. Oh, do I want to use one focus to grab that though? I don't know what it is. Amber crystals. An amber fragment. What was that again? I can't remember what the amber fragments are. I'm getting a feeling something awful is going to happen in the night. But I imagine we're very tired after that trip, so. Oh, we can go out. Wait. Huh. Oh, man. Same statue is in our room. I wonder if you could sneak into other people's rooms uh, this way. See, I would be all over, like, trying to see what's written on that paper. Carmelite water. They say that if you drink this, it gives you a real boost. Okay. Getting all these royal jellies. Collector coin. There's something else here. I wonder if this gets closed off. Wow, you do get a lot of these, don't you? The torture of Ixion. Condemned by the gods to lose his mind because of his arrogance. Guess we're off to bed. Shoot. Okay. That's episode one? Off the coast of England. Okay. 
Huh. I went up the I went up to the manor. I found clues about my mother on the docks. I convinced Piaggi to trust me with his letter. I met Mr. Washington. I chose to join Sir Holm in the small salon. I noticed a strange talisman around Adam's neck. I observed Sir Holm. But we failed by not finding all the clues about my mother on the docks. Sorry, because we couldn't open one of the things, right? I didn't pick up the book on the key. Is that because I couldn't open up... Um, I might I maybe missed something else also. Alternate pass. I could have remained in the Grand Hall to speak with Mr. Washington. Up to level 2. Traits unlocked. Objectives completed. Character traits revealed. New characters met. Vulnerabilities exploited and items found. We have four points. I did want to put one into uh, subterfuge. Three points left for level one. So I had to put all three points into that. Shoot. Oh, we also get three effort points. Linguistics would have come in handy too. Politics. Conviction. I'm going to grab one. I'm going to do this subterfuge. And maybe I should get one. I only have one point, right? And I need three to get another skill. So maybe I should start working on one of these. Or I could put one in manipulation. Yes, yeah, so let's put one in manipulation. That way we unlock that as well. I think that's the best thing to do. Okay. Or should we just try to get level two in something else? Maybe I should do that. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to put one in, in uh, manipulation. Logic, vigilance. I like the idea of being able to read people's behavior. It's kind of seemed like pretty similar. Let's go level two in psychology. What was this one? Science. Oh, that's pretty cool too. <laughs> this is this is where my analysis paralysis comes in. I'm gonna commit to this. Uh yeah, I feel like having... Oh, skill use is free. So what is... Hold on, let me go back. Reduces costs in effort points by three. I see. So it actually doesn't, like, make the skill... Like, you can't pass tougher tests. It's just... All it's going to do is... Reduce costs in effort points by three. Okay, I'm changing my mind. I'm going to do my original plan. I'd rather unlock more possibilities. Okay. We're doing it. Oh, here's where we equip the manuscripts. Choose what to read during the adventure. Each manuscript uh, you read uh, confers skill points at the end of the quest. Got it. Damn, it would have been nice to have that. Etiquette, conviction, or psychology. Oh, we could go psychology. We wanted to do that anyways. Or we can get another another skill entirely.
I kind of I think I'm going to go with psychology because that kind of I wanted to do another level in it anyways. Uh it's a, nah, I'm going to go wide. I'm going to go wide. More more skill points. There. We're going to go we're going to go wide. We're going to unlock as many skills as possible and then and then we'll upgrade them. game of chess they're playing against each other. Your turn? The servants are not very efficient. Durache can't be far away. They'll find her soon. Their search time is restricted given that they must keep an eye on Adams. I can take care of her, you know. Yes. Well, in any case, I do thank you for bringing her to the island. From what I've understood, the search of de Richet's room hasn't turned up any results. Not yet, no. But we've put her son in there. Perhaps he'll find something. Hmm. That might come in handy. Louis grows impatient at not yet having met the famous Lord Mortimer. He will meet him tomorrow. Oh, what a pity to lose a knight at the start of the game. Are you waiting for someone? A young French soldier. During our game of chess? Don't worry, Greg. Napoleon. The game won't disappear. I'll have one of my men escort you back. Don't trouble yourself. I know my way out. Ah, good evening, gentlemen. Please forgive me for this late hour. It is never too late. And we have much to discuss. One last move? Don't worry. Our games always seem to end like this. Or always start like this. Come, come. Take it's a like, seat, my friend. It's like we've possessed one of the servants. Huh. Napoleon. The intrigue. I love it. A little nighttime stroll, Mr. President. There's nothing like it for a good night's sleep. Do not hesitate to ask a servant to show you back. The corridors seem quite safe. Peppermint, lime flower, and valet. My miracle remedy when one can't get to sleep. A very good night to you, Mr. President. Thank you. And to you too, sir. That spooky blue light on his face. Man, I would not want to meet that guy in real life. So he was out of his room. Oh, he just knocked on our door. Oh, no. He did want to talk to us before. I'm coming. Oh, I see. That wasn't the end of episode one. That was just saying that um, we're still in episode one. Okay, awesome. I'm going to take a break here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. This is Luckless Love Lock signing off for now, and I love you all.